right. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate this. So to get started, I've already imported my background and the picture of the phone that I'm going to use. So for this, you need to find a high resolution image of any phone you like and then edit it in Photoshop. You just need to remove the background and the screen contents and then once you're done, save the image as a PNG with a transparent background and then import it into After Effects. So to get started right now, I'm going to create a new composition. It's going to be 5 seconds long and it's going to be using the HDTV 1080 preset. Then I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to drag over the background and the phone image inside of the composition. I'm going to scale down the phone image by pressing S and then manually typing in this value. And then the next step is going to be creating a new solid, which is going to be used as the background. So I'm going to call it background and here it is. And then I'm going to place it underneath of this phone. So I'm just going to slightly increase the size of the phone like that. And right now we need to make a screen mat. A mat is going to define the areas in which this background solid is visible and in which areas it's transparent. So I'm going to click right here and you can hold this. You're going to be using the rectangle tool or the rounded rectangle tool. If that doesn't work, then you should probably just use the pen tool to draw a shape that you need. So deselect everything. You can do that by clicking right here or by pressing F2 and then you can draw the rectangle around the screen edges. So I'm going to draw it just like this and I'm not going to need the stroke so I'm going to turn it off and then I can just um, press V to use um, the selection tool and then I can manually just change the scale of the shape layer and I can use the arrow keys to reposition it slightly. So right now I'm going to rename this shape layer to screen mat and I'm going to place it underneath of the phone and right now you just need to check um, if there's any red areas around the phone and if there isn't then you've done this right. Now the next step is going to be selecting this background and then if you don't see the track mats click right here it should say toggle switches and modes and then set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. And now as you can see this solid is visible only around the phone and we can see the background image through um, the phone screen. So the first step is going to be selecting this background image and then pressing T to show the opacity. I'm going to change the value to zero then I'm going to create a keyframe and then I'm going to press shift and page down to go to the 10th frame and I'm going to change the opacity to 100. So right now we just have a fade in which appears as if the screen is turning on. The next step is going to be setting my playhead right here at 2 seconds and we're going to need to animate the scale of the background, um, the scale of the phone and also the position of the background. So I'm going to select these two layers and then I'm going to press S and with the playhead at 2 seconds, I'm going to create a scale keyframe. Then I'm going to select just this layer and I'm going to press P and again create a keyframe. Now with the background image selected, I'm going to press U once and then twice. And that's going to show me all the keyframes that I've made for this layer. Before we animate anything, we just need to take this screen mat and then parent it to the phone which means that it's going to follow the phone um, in its changes of scale or if we animated the position it will also follow it um, in its position. So then let's set the playhead right here at 3 seconds and let's create a second set of keyframes. And right now the easiest part is going to be animating the phone. We just need to increase the scale until it covers up the entire screen. And that's it. Now the next step is going to be selecting these two keyframes and then hitting F9 to easy ease them and then opening the graph editor. Right click and make sure that you're editing the speed graph and then let's make this animation look like this. So it's going to come in really slow and then it's going to really increase um, its speed right here. So let me show you what I'm talking about like that. And we can also turn on the motion blur for the phone and for the screen mat. 
turning it on for the screen mat is also important and then enable it by clicking right here. Now if I preview it, you can see that we have the motion blur. Now the next step is going to be animating this background image. So obviously I'm going to scale it down a little bit just like that and then I'm going to change its position. So I want to move it down like that. I want to center this tower right here. And as you can see right now, if I preview this, the image is going to animate back to these original values that we set right here. But the problem that we have are these black edges. So before we fix that, I'm going to select all of these keyframes and I'm going to also hit F9 and you can just slightly adjust them right here in the graph editor like that. And as you can see, this is what we have so far. And the final problem that we need to fix are these black edges. So to fix that, you simply need to search for the motion tile effect right here in the effects and presets panel and then apply motion tile to your background image. Make sure that you check mirror edges because that usually works best and then increase the output height in my case, but you might also need to increase the output width. And right now, if I preview this, you can see that we're done. So if you want to make a transition out of this, you just need to make a few adjustments. First of all, we're no longer going to need this background solid, so I'm going to delete it. And right now, since this is no longer being used as a mat, I'm going to enable the visibility and I'm going to set its mode to stencil alpha. So as you can see right now, it's doing a similar thing. Next, we need to delete these two keyframes because they are no longer required. And then I'm going to set the playhead right here to the 15th frame and I'm going to move these um, keyframes all the way to the 15th frame. The next step is going to be animating the phone. So I'm going to animate the position. I'm going to set the playhead to the beginning. Then I'm going to press P and I'm going to make a position keyframe. I'm also going to make a keyframe at the 10th frame. And then I'm going to change the value of the first keyframe. I'm simply going to move the phone on the Y axis until it's out of the screen. So right now we have this. Now I'm going to select these keyframes and I'm going to ease ease them by hitting F9 and then I'm going to adjust them in the graph editor so that it looks like this. And right now we have this. The next trick that we need to do is take this image and then split it right here at the 10th frame by pressing Ctrl Shift D. And then we need to take this part of the image and parent it to the phone with the playhead at the 10th frame. So by doing that, we made the image move with the phone. And then we also need to enable motion blur for this layer. So this is what we have so far. And the final step would be pre-composing this and then taking the other image that you need to use. So I'm going to import it right now. And then you're just going to place it underneath of this composition. And right now you've made yourself a really nice transition. So that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials like this one, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.